Mickey Mazie, student athletes Billy Fleming, Ryan McBroom, and Sean Carley. We'll start with opening statements from the coach. Well, I sure hope that's not our last game. That would be, a, you know, last year in our last game, we won with a walk off and had a ton of excitement. That really carries over into the summertime. It made the summer go a lot better. I know for me, I'm sure for these guys too, very few teams get to win their last game, and we did that last year. I sure hope this isn't our last game because this would make for a, a pretty long summer the way we played today. But I hope everybody looks at uh, not what we did today, but what we've done this season and, and our willingness to get out there and, and play the best teams we can. Uh, we've had a very good season. These guys beside me have had all had tremendous seasons. They're tremendous players. and uh, We've left it in the hands of the committee now. And, and hopefully they look at our entire body of work, uh, not just uh, the last uh, week or two, because I think we're, uh, we're very deserving. We played, that was our 54th game today. That was our 41st game away from our campus. And that uh, leads the nation in that category. And I don't know where our RPI will sit after this loss, but uh, we'll definitely be in the top 40, I'm sure. And uh, you know, there's gonna be, if we don't get in, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of teams behind us in the RPI that do get in. If um, if we don't get in, maybe the RPI isn't the best indicator of who should get in, because I think uh, we are very deserving, and that uh, the uh, the whole idea of RPI is to show the strength of your club. And if we're ahead of some other people, uh, according to that formula, then uh, by all rights, it says should say we have a a team that's deserving. So, uh, but you know, in just like in boxing or MMA, they always tell you don't leave it in the hands of the judges, uh, and that's what we've done at this point. So, hopefully, uh, a couple things go our way and we can continue to play. Okay, I jumped again a little bit, guys. We also have Ross fans joining us here. Run team had the lead of I think about five innings total in all three games. What was it a strain? Is that make it tougher to play when, when you're trailing most of the time? It does a little bit. Um, it doesn't affect us too much, though. You know, it's part of the game. You got to you gotta be comfortable with coming back and scoring runs and winning, winning baseball games. Um, but we don't really look at it like that. We just kind of, you know, focus on ourselves and focus on what we can do to score runs and win games. And obviously, we didn't do that today, but I guess that's part of the game. You know, it's baseball. You can't always go out and score 10, 20 runs every game. But yeah, we kind of just keep it within ourselves. We don't really look too far. You didn't feel like you made, there was anybody pressing or anything, you know, as the county innings wound down? I guess you could say that, but I mean, we do have some young guys, you know, in the lineup, which is, you know, which is expected. Um, that comes with experience, though. Um, yeah, there's not too much to say about that. I'm not really sure. <clears throat> What did the uh, freshman pitcher for Baylor do today that clearly his best outing of the season since he's only made a couple of starts before he finished? You know, he was, a, he was a good Big 12 competitor. You know, he went out there and threw strikes, located his fastball. Um, you know, he was, he was a tough, a tough, you know, pitcher, um, especially for a righty with that slider. You know, he went out and did a good job. Yeah, I think the same thing. He went out and, uh, you know, stepped up for his ball club, being a freshman and all that. You know, he sinking his fastball was pretty good, pretty good fastball command. Uh, we just didn't have it today with the sticks, so 